If you're using a Samsung Galaxy phone or tablet, especially a newer one, there's some important news you'll want to know. Samsung is getting ready to release its next big software update, One UI 8, which will be based on Android 16. And this time, the focus is heavily on security and privacy. The features coming with this update could seriously change the way you protect your phone and personal data. Google has already shared some of the key security features that Android 16 will bring, and Samsung is adding its own enhancements on top of that. These new tools are designed to stop scams, prevent fraud, and protect your phone even if it gets lost or stolen. If you've ever worried about your phone falling into the wrong hands, this update might ease some of that stress. One of the major highlights is something called the Advanced Protection Program. It's a new security mode that, once turned on, activates several powerful features to keep your phone safe. The best part? Only you can make changes to it. It requires proper identity verification, which means a scammer or thief can't just walk away with your phone and disable your settings. In the beginning, these protections will work mostly with Google Apps, but support for third-party apps will come soon after. That means the apps you use daily, like banking, messaging, and social media, will also get an extra layer of safety. There's also a big improvement when it comes to device logs. Normally, system logs can be changed or even deleted. But with Android 16, secure logs will remain untouched. This way, if someone tries to access your phone or change settings, you'll have a clear record that can't be altered. It's like having a built-in history tracker for suspicious activity. Phone call safety is also getting a boost. Android 16 will block some risky actions during calls, like installing apps from the internet or giving sensitive permissions. This is especially useful because scammers often try to trick people into downloading harmful apps while they're on a call. Now that trick won't work as easily, and if you've ever used screen sharing during a call, there's a new rule that will protect your banking apps. While screen sharing is on, banking apps from supported banks, like Monzo, NatWest, and Revolut in the United Kingdom, won't open. This move is aimed at stopping scams where people pretending to be tech support try to access your financial information during screen sharing. AI is also playing a bigger role. Android 16 will use it to detect apps that try to hide or change their identity. It will also help filter out scam messages more accurately, and it can watch for suspicious behavior on your device, all quietly running in the background without needing any action from you. Another major improvement is in theft protection. Is the Galaxy S25 FE actually worth the wait? That's the question many Samsung fans are asking as leaks continue to hint at what's coming next. This upcoming fan edition model is expected to land sometime around September or October, and while it may carry some upgrades, there are also signs that a few things might not change at all. And that's got people talking. Let's begin with something that actually looks promising, the selfie camera. Based on the information so far, Samsung is planning to use a 12 megapixel front-facing camera on the Galaxy S25 FE. Now, if that sounds familiar, it's because this is the same camera setup being used in the Galaxy S25, S25 Plus, S25 Ultra, and even the new S25 Edge. Compared to the 10 megapixel front camera on the Galaxy S24 FE, this change might seem small, on paper. But in real-world use, it could be a noticeable improvement. See, megapixels are just one part of the story. What really matters is how the camera performs. And that depends on things like the image sensor, software processing, and, uh, smart optimization. If Samsung applies the same level of image processing and software improvements that we've seen in the S25 lineup, then selfies, portrait shots, and video calls could definitely look sharper and more natural. For people who love taking front camera, photos, or making video calls, this is definitely a win. But not everything about the S25 FE seems like an upgrade. When it comes to the back cameras, things appear to be staying mostly the same. Reports say the phone will once again feature a 50 megapixel main rear camera, the same one used in the S23 FE and S24 FE. While that's not a bad thing, since it's a solid sensor and still performs well, the concern is with the other. Cameras, the ultra-wide and the telephoto. So far, there's no sign that Samsung plans to improve those two. That means wide-angle photos and zoom shots might not look much different from the last two models, 
and for users hoping to see a big camera boost overall, this could be a bit disappointing. It seems like the focus is on maintaining, rather than improving the rear camera setup this time around. Now, let's talk about the processor, a key part of any phone. Right now, the chip powering the Galaxy S25 FE hasn't been officially confirmed, but rumors suggest it could use the same Exynos 2400E processor found in the Galaxy S24 FE. If this turns out to be true, it might raise some eyebrows. Wow. The Exynos 2400E isn't terrible. It's also not on the same level as the latest Snapdragon chips being used in some of Samsung's more premium models. In day-to-day -day tasks, it might still run fine. But for gaming, multitasking, or heavy use, the difference in performance could be noticeable. Fans who care about speed and long-term software performance are definitely watching this closely. Why are people already pre-ordering iPhone 17 cases months before the phone is even released? The iPhone 17 isn't expected until September 2025, but some users are already buying cases for it. That's right. Even before Apple announces the phone, its accessories are being sold online. And what's more surprising is that these cases might actually give us a clear idea of what the new iPhones will look and feel like. This all started with an industry insider who previously leaked accurate CAD files and 3D printed models of upcoming Apple phones. Now they're offering phone cases based on the same 3D data. If you're curious, you can even message them directly on X, formerly Twitter, to request one. But these aren't just ordinary cases. The insider's designs appear to match perfectly. With 3D dummy units of the iPhone 17 family. So, when someone fits a dummy model into the case, it snaps in as if it were the real phone. That gives early users a pretty good feel for Apple's upcoming devices, even though the actual phones haven't been shown yet. Let's talk about design. The iPhone 17 Pro and Pro Max seem to have a massive camera island on the back, still keeping the familiar triple lens setup, but with a slightly wider layout. It's likely Apple is planning a camera upgrade and that larger housing might point to improved sensors. The iPhone 17 Air, which is said to be a thinner version of the phone, shows a smaller but still noticeable camera area. The shape reminds some people of what we've seen in Google's Pixel 9 leaks. On the other hand, the base iPhone 17's design looks different, and not in a good way, according to early reactions. The cutout for the camera appears awkward, and it's making some users question Apple's choices for the standard model. Interestingly, people in China are already going to stores where they can try out iPhone 17 dummies with these cases. Even though they're just plastic shells with no real hardware inside, Users can feel how the phones will rest in the hand, fit in pockets, and compare weights across models. For some, that hands-on preview is more exciting than watching rumors online. But, let's be honest, pre-ordering a case before buying the actual phone sounds risky. What if you end up buying a different model? Or Apple changes something last minute? Still, this kind of early move shows just how much excitement builds before an iPhone launch. We've seen this before. When Samsung's One UI 7 was leaked ahead of time, people were downloading unfinished apps just to get an early taste. Apple fans are no different when it comes to staying ahead of the curve. These iPhone 17 cases have also sparked other leaks. Some accessory brands have accidentally confirmed the design by listing cases for sale early on their websites. While Apple stays silent, these small mistakes by third parties are painting a clearer picture.